Yo guys, welcome back to the channel. We finally have, well, Season 2. Tomorrow is going to be Chapter 5 of Season 2, and I cannot believe how quickly that actually got here. They actually also just released a teaser trailer, so we'll play that really quickly. I don't entirely know if the music is copyrighted, so in case it is muted, I do apologize about that. But of course, it's copyrighted music, so I can't really control that. All right, so what we can tell from this actual trailer, well, first things first, Hades is absorbing energy and looks like Artemis is actually directing the wolves with her powers of some sort. And along with that, we see Ares actually wielding chains and slaying with this like a massive like whip thing. It's freaking insane, dude. Every single Greek mythology character has their own special unique abilities. Now, speaking of abilities, there's actually four mythics coming soon. So we have Zeus's lightning bolt, Cerberus's wolves, which of course we actually control those, um, Hades Chains, which of course is that long whip type thing, and Icarus Wings, which are essentially, man, I got a hair in my mouth, which is essentially like, well, this is the background video. These are going to be a new mythic that you guys can actually use and fly around the Fortnite map, essentially. At least that's what I speculate. But we can definitely tell four mythics at the very first day of the season is just going to be insane. And without a doubt, uh, on top of that, the trailer looks insane and the key art looks even crazier. So we could definitely tell a few things from this key art. A, look at the crazy points of interest in the background video. We have this giant Ares statue in the background. And, and of course, to the left, we have like, you know, the underground where, where you see, uh, you know, Cerberus in the background. We also see a few secret characters, which we'll talk about in a minute. And I forgot to mention this from the trailer, but we can also note the hand cannon will be involved during season two, which I am all for. I really miss the hand cannon. So, so far from the characters from the Myths and Mortals, uh, new season, of course, season two, that's a new name. Uh, we can see Zeus, Hades, uh, Aphrodite, Poseidon, Cerberus, and Artemis. A total of six skins with Medusa and Hermes not appearing in the key art. So yeah, that's pretty crazy. We could definitely tell that there's actually two missing characters from the Fortnite Battle Pass. And obviously those are going to be Medusa and Hermes. So yeah, very, very crazy season. And in case you guys didn't know, the new creative director uh, actually designed Kratos back in 2006 and of course he's been working on tons of Marvel films and tons of video games revolving around Greek mythology which would make a lot of sense as far as why he is going so hard and why this is you know pretty much accurate to the actual in real life lore so it's gonna be crazy I think that season two might literally be the best season we've ever received aside from chapter two season two but of course that's opinionated along with this you know some more backstory the Ares skin is also mentioned along with a giant statue of him. It appears he'll be slightly different from the survey concept, so he, so he could have multiple helmet edit styles. So yeah, that's very, very true. That's gonna be very cool to see. Um, along with that, of course, we have this secret skin. So Ripley Poseidon or Thick Poseidon, which one are you guys looking forward to? Uh, so, so far, we've actually got confirmation that we're actually getting a Ripley Poseidon skin. And I've seen a lot of people not very happy about this, but guys, I don't think this is only gonna be the only Poseidon skin. And if it is, honestly, it's Fortnite. There's always going to be at least one meme skin inside the Fortnite Battle Pass, or of course, releasing throughout the season. So Poseidon might be the meme skin. Perhaps they couldn't get the actual rights to him or something like that. I had no idea, man. But Poseidon is actually a pretty popular character in real life. You know, a lot of movies use Poseidon. So it would make a lot of sense that perhaps they just couldn't get the rights to it right away. Um, along with that, apparently there's going to be a new Poseidon map uh, added to Rocket League tomorrow morning. And last but not least, a Fortnite Season 2 trailer secret. While Hades is doing his ritual to consume three souls, Cerberus has three heads. Interesting. Uh, two people are sneaking to shoot him down. And this poor dude is just trying to protect himself. He probably does this in game if you dare to fight him. So yeah, very, very interesting. NPCs are going to be reacting to, well, danger. And we have Cerberus and all sorts of cool characters like Hades having special abilities. We can also know there's two brand new weapons coming soon. No idea what these are going to be called, but it looks like a submachine gun and, of course, a new assault rifle, which looks absolutely awesome. Aphrodite is actually holding that one. And by the way, she has a new wings ability. To coincide with this, Fortnite just set an upcoming skin to be free reward in next season's Drenched Cups for the X amount of games you play. It is most likely going to be Odyssey as previously leaked. So yeah, it's now confirmed that Odyssey is very likely going to be a free Season 2 uh, skin for, of course, Ranked Mode, which I do believe this is the first free skin we've ever got just for Ranked Mode. So very interesting, very cool looking skin. 
Um, don't forget, we've gotten three teasers of over the last couple of days. So we have Can You Feel the Thunder, which of course is Poseidon, Unleash the Chains, that's Hades, and last but not least, Don't Fly Too Close to the Sun, which is Aphrodite, but of course, the story is actually based around, um, what's his name? Icarus. Okay, yeah, almost forgot. Uh, but yeah, very, very cool. And last but not least, in case you guys missed it, uh, Fortnite actually got their developer account removed, or I should say Epic Games got their de developer account removed uh, by Apple once again. So Sheena said this, after terminating Epic Games developer account, Apple will face questions from the European Union re regulations regarding this topic. Epic Games is accusing Apple of breaking new EU laws by terminating their developer account. And I actually looked into this a little bit, and yeah, I'm pretty sure they actually broke the law by removing Epic Games' developer account for literally no reason. You can't just kind of go against the law just because you don't like another CEO. So these CEOs are kind of butting heads per usual, and they're kind of breaking laws. So that should be pretty interesting. We'll see the result of that over the next couple of weeks. But with that being said, that's all I have for you guys for today's Fortnite video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for, for the endless support. Do not worry. I will be posting more often during season two. The end of the season was just kind of boring. And overall, I think this season was just not that good. But it looks like season two is going to be peak. So I'll definitely be posting every single day if possible. And I'll see you guys there. Or at least I hope so.